A very warm welcome to the learning home. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss how to use a sticky note in Adobe Acrobat 20C. So here is our setup example where we are going to work upon. And uh, on the top, you will see the option here that is called add a sticky note. We can press it here and add a sticky note with quite ease. And if you have some comment, we can add it here. But here, you will not be able to uh, work on the multiple uh, features which we can have in some other way so what we can we can do is we can go to the right hand side and there's the option called comment when you press it we will see another set of row has appeared which has a quite rich tool list you can also activate the same thing by going to the tools tab and pressing comment tab so here you will see the option and you might have noticed that this icon has appeared here so it is removed from here so now what we are going to do we are going to select this and you will see option called change color and imagine if you want to change to deep yellow color and if you want to change the opacity to something like much more 100 percent and then select like this and you will see a difference here which we had did previously and which we are doing right now if you want to change the opacity or color just click it here go back there and change to some other color if you wish to you can change the opacity also you will see the difference but we will make it we try to have it 100% and then leave it like this you can order some kind of comment here when you press it you will see this box has appeared we can add comment but situation in which you don't see this comment tab like uh, if you have hide comment tab you have hidden the comment tab then you will see a situation like this and it could be some situation where you will not see even this pop-up box so if you have to write it so what you have to do you have to go to right click and open all pop-ups when you open all pop-ups this is a pop-up for this sticky note this is a pop-up for this sticky note and if you want to add something something some comment you can add it over there and then post it same thing if you want to delete it you can delete it if you want to add it you can add it if you want to see the comment tab what you can do you can go right click and show comment tab you will see in the normal mode imagine a situation where you want to put a multiple sticky note like uh, here what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the sticky note here sticky note here I'm going to select it one by one and put it but what you can do you can select it and then you will see another option with the pin icon just press it and it will the tool is called keep tool selected and when you press it you will see here it is highlighted in blue color and then you don't have to press this option it is this tool is selected by this means so if you want to add a sticky note you don't have to go and select again and again you can keep adding sticky notes so with the just keep tool selected you don't have to select it again and again if you want to change the icon of this uh, sticky note what you can do you can go to the right click properties and on the left hand side you will see a multiple icon so imagine a situation where you want a, a right pointer so what you can do you can select the right pointer if you want to change the color you can change the color as well and then press ok you will see that uh, the icon is changed again you will see whenever i'm doing the using a sticky note you will see the same icon is there if you want in the future this icon to be the default sticky note so what you can do you can select this option right click properties and then you will see the hair size color if you want to change it also you can change it from here itself and then you can mark mark it as a make properties default and when you select this make properties default that will be the default sticky note option for the future 
So suppose if you want to st add a sticky note, you will see the same icon will appear in the future. If you want to delete the sticky note, what you can do is just go there and right click. You will see the option called delete. You can also do it with the, just select it and use the delete uh, keyboard. You can also do the same thing from here. Just select it and delete. It will delete one by one. If you don't want your sticky note to be deleted with such a ease, what you can do, you can lock it. So I'm going to lock one first one. Right click that, the word is, and then select uh, locked. And then click OK. You will see the option here is, so it's a locked icon here, but in the other option, you don't see this locked icon. So you can delete everyone except this. So I'm going to delete all here, but if you delete, go and delete this option, like uh, if you even, you don't see the delete option here. So what you can do, you can go there and there and uh, properties and unlock it. So when you unlock it, you can delete it once again. You see the delete option and then you can delete it. There are there is a shortcut as well. You can use uh, Control plus six as a shortcut to put a sticky note. So I'm going to show you using the shortcut Control plus six. You can see a shortcut here. If I'm putting, I want to put a sticky note there. Bring it there. I'm going to put it on the second page. And if I want to change the shape, I can change the shape as well. Something like uh, this. It's fine. Now we are going to show you how to filter the sticky notes. So here is the option with the filtering and you will see when you press it, this option A to Z, you will see there are three sticky notes on the page number one <clears throat> and there are two on somewhere there is a duplication that's why they're showing two anyway so there are three sticky notes which is a kind of overlap i think so that is the way we can filter it and uh, if you want to the in terms of poser since i'm the person who is just putting the sticky notes so there is only one category if you want to change the date Again, it is done on today itself, so everything is same, same type of sticky note. So that is all about the sticky note and I uh, hope it has given you an idea about how to use sticky note in Adobe Acrobat 4DC. How you have found the video, please do write in the comment section. And if you have liked it, please do like and share. For more videos, please do subscribe and press the bell icon so that you will be notified about the upcoming videos. With this, I will say goodbye and see you soon.